They go five wide here, Tony, on third and eight. Heads up for pressure off the top here. They're coming, Tony. And Dalton is taken down by Josh Jones. That's Tony Romo with Jim Nance breaking down a play before it happens for the NFL on CBS. Romo is a rookie in the booth, and Nance, of course, is a broadcast legend. We recently met up with the new lead broadcast team for their first interview of the season. This is my position for, for calling the game, and I just happen to be here today. You just happen to be on the 50-yard line. Looks like line. it's right on the 50. Is I, am I yeah. maybe 49 and, yeah. and a half on the right That's side? I'm not sure. It's pretty close. From high above on the 50-yard line, Jim Nance may have the best view in football. And this season, after nearly 30 years of calling NFL games for CBS, he welcomed a rookie broadcaster. Tony Romo, welcome. It's an honor to be here. How's he doing so far? He's a star. I just love the guy. And I'm so uh, excited for what this season has brought um, for the football fan, for CBS. And look, we, we spent a lot of time this summer getting ready for it. The Hall of Fame game in Canton, Ohio. CBS built a stand that was like far removed from the end zone. Somebody <laughs> said it looked like a deer stand. But this was the, <laughs> the lengths that we went to to try to be prepared for this season. But as it was going on, I knew there was something special. Something here. special indeed, as the pair was clicking in the booth. There's Rick Lovato, Demi Lovato's husband. I made that up, I made that up. That's just you have joke. been digging deep for nuggets. Romo quickly earned a reputation for calling plays before they'd happen on the field. Jim, I got $5, this is a run to the left. I gotta pay now as it's Henry. How is it now that you're sort of clairvoyant on the field? <laughs> I think that's a little overrated. I mean, does he have a globe back there or something, you know? What is it? He's been picking my lottery numbers from recently. <laughs> we haven't hit the big one, but we've been close. This is where the quarterback's going to roll right and launch the ball out of bounds. It's going to look weird. Rolling right, launching out of bounds, and Tony stealing the signals once again. The reality is there's about 130 plays in a game. And he's probably now... I'm down to Two, maybe a game. Two a game. Well, tell me what you see. I feel like I see a lot, and you got to condense it and, and almost simplify it for people watching. So I see a front, a coverage, the philosophy of the coach coming into the game, what he wanted to do defensively to make this quarterback think this certain thing. A lot of that is just the history of what you've learned and you feel and you know. And then it's like, what is? what would you want to know? What would be exciting or new that you could learn or be that would take you into, hopefully it's a story. We talk about vignettes which is a word I had never even heard of. But I'm learning it now. Not vinaigrette. I was like, I don't understand. Why do we have to eat salad when we're doing a telecast? Romo isn't the only one reading the tea leaves for CBS Sports. Tracy Wolfson looks for trends from the sidelines during every game. How about you running up and down this field? <laughs> you know, I wear like an Apple Watch and I always like check to see how much I'm running. I get about 15,000 steps. I mean, you're a reporter right on the sidelines, so you get to hear everything. You do. And you know what else? You really get to take the pulse of a team. And I can tell when a team, you know, is having success or will have kind of a good year or a good future ahead of them because you can sense the camaraderie. Gail and Charlie and I talk about chemistry. Do you just have it or is it something you work on? We have it, I think. Like for me, I had a day one I met Jim Nance. I mean, he was, A, he loves sports and loves all the same sports I do at like the highest level. Yeah. And so we could talk about like things for into the wee hours of the night. Now, I've known Tony for a long time, admired him for a long time, and we've been friends. And we do have so many things that we share in common. Even, believe it or not, we have kids that are the same, basically the same age. So. I knew that wasn't going to be something we had to go work on the chemistry. It, you know, it was there. On Sunday, Cowboy fans celebrated Tony Romo's return to Dallas with a standing ovation as their one-time quarterback continues in this, his first season with a new team. I wasn't prepared for that, so that was pretty emotional. When you make the choice to go from football and you know, go into the booth, I think you, you always hope you get to all of a sudden go in and be in the first team and you got Jim Nance as your partner and you're kind of going to do football games, but that's not usually reality. We went into this season uh, not overconfident, not arrogant, but feeling like we're just starting uh, something, a partnership that could be special. We hope and we feel is going to be there for a long time. 
I mean, they are all right. so good together. They're just is, terrific. Is he that much better? I mean, it's remarkable to see he can predict the plays than other people who've done this kind of thing. Well, I think it's just because he was on the field, you know, yeah. in, the, in the last couple of years, and he, so he sees stuff, you know, yeah. ahead of time, and he just has a great love of the game. And he knows the coach's mind, too, what she said. Yes, and they meet with the teens ahead of time, and um, Tracy Wolfson is, is delivering them, even what you don't see on TV. Yeah. She's feeding nuggets up to them in the booth, which they share on the air, and it's just been a perfect match. But you made such a good point, though, Nora, about chemistry. There's no accounting for it, but the two of them definitely have it, which makes yeah. it a whole lot easier when you're starting something it's new. fun That's to nice. watch. Yeah.